Hello everyone. So today let us continue working with Inkscape. Now today I want to talk about a uh, couple of things. Now the first thing that I want to talk about is uh, using Inkscape for uh, my online meetings and classes where I want to use uh, my handwritten notes. For example, if uh, I'm talking to a client and if I need to explain explain something to something to them i can of course uh, use uh, some whiteboard but from my experience i try to keep uh, my notes uh, nicely somewhere in uh, a format that i can uh, maybe export to maybe pdf or maybe a png file and because i'm comfortable with inkscape I think it works really nicely when it comes to using Inkscape for uh, handwritten notes. For example, right now I am using uh, Inkspace Inkscape here, and as you can see, this is actually uh, you know quite good. My handwriting is of course not really great, but uh, it works. It works really nicely if I am trying to explain uh, like something to my uh, to my clients. If I'm in a meeting, sometimes you need like a handwritten. Uh, <laughs> handwritten uh, format because uh, there is nothing like it and uh, when you are trying to explain uh, some some concept to maybe someone it could be uh, about a technical topic it could be explaining some kind of a process you can you can, you can basically use uh, these handwritten notes and it works really nicely and uh, uh, inkscape because it has uh, this nice feature because you know you can actually use the pen tool it is not really a pen tool it is basically calligraphy and you have different options on top that you can change so you can definitely use it for you know simple hand uh, writing that you can do and of course you know you can draw something on it because i use inkscape anyways for uh, for uh, graphics for vector designing now this is of course not the main thing or the only thing that I want to talk about. The other thing that I want to talk about is uh, basically this simple way to work in a distraction free mode. Now, if I'm using Inkscape for uh, these notes, of course I can uh, make these notes here and uh, it looks really nice. But the problem is that if you look at, uh, if you look at the uh, toolbar, on top and uh, you know the information that is probably not really necessary because right now I just want to focus on the notes but the toolbar options may be uh, a bit of a dis distraction for my clients or you know anyone who is looking at my notes but there is a way what you can do you can press a uh, couple of things that, that you can do so if you're using uh, Inkscape let us say you are uh, you have opened some you know talking window maybe it could be related to the uh, the the fill and stroke or maybe if you want to align something basically usually there is like a dock or docking window that appears and uh, you can of course close it using mouse but when you are like doing something like maybe you are you have your pen with you and uh, you, you you're trying to close it you can of course use the mouse option here but there is a way you can actually press uh, f12 on your keyboard and by the way these are all you know default shortcuts and you can always always modify these things by the way so press f12 and it will uh, you know make it make your docked make your docking panel disappear at the same time to go full screen you can do a couple of things number one you can press f11 and uh, you are in a full screen mode which is not really uh, um i mean let me just you know open my toolbar or not toolbar but my d menu on top and if i press f11 now it will go full screen and and as you can see i'm also you know not really appearing but if you if you go full screen it is not really that helpful but a better way of do, of going full screen in a pure distraction free mode is to use control f11 now if you notice it is wonderful because uh, now we don't really have any toolbar except this one on top i'm sure there is a way to remove it but i'm i'm i'm, I'm fine with that it works nicely because now i can uh, make uh, these uh, wonderful notes here and as you can see um, it looks quite nice and uh, i can make notes and i can explain my concept or whatever i'm trying to share and good thing about uh, this is that if you want you can also <laughs> uh, 
just if you're using let us say arch linux and because i use arch linux with the dwm i can also uh, make my window appear on the right hand side like my webcam window which is something that i can do if i'm making a video so let us say if i'm making a video on a topic where i need to show my face because i like doing that i think uh, audience feels a bit connected but i also want to show something like my notes so you can do that so i basically pressed control L control f11 and then i simply using uh, you, you know using the so if, if you're using a dwm you can use alt and right mouse key to to make this uh, i mean it, it is a tiling window manager but you can actually make it uh, like a custom size one based on your needs but i'm actually full screen for Ink inkscape if i press control f11 11 again uh, i'm back to the normal one and then if i press alt and the middle mouse uh, wheel then i can go uh, in a pure tiling mode and that is it it is of course uh, nothing too difficult but i thought i'll probably share it in case you're trying to use inkscape you can for not only note making drawing but also to use it as a whiteboard all right that is it that is all for today i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much bye bye